Hello and welcome to take two. <laughs> uh, I was working along and realized I did not hit record. So um, today I'm doing a challenge. Uh, it's hosted by, um, well first off it's hashtag altered paper clips 2023. Now I have said this before. Paper clips are not my thing, but I'm going to be a good sport and uh, support my friends. Uh, and that would be MJ, My Paper Journey, Dale, Not Too Shabby Chic, and I hope I don't say this wrong, Gigi, Journal Gigi Hana. Okay, so there are the channels. Um, I think they post a new uh, challenge every Friday. I'm not sure. The one I'm doing today is Vintage and Library. And this is my take on it. I, I really struggled, but, um, and I'm still struggling. <laughs> um, when I thought I was on camera, I stamped a bunch of stuff out. These are like my take on what vintage and library would be. This is like a stack of books um, with some roses on it. Um, Ex Libris and this one's my journal. This one is a letter, a fountain pen, some books. And I stamped all these with my stamps. This one here is This Book Belongs To. This is just a vintage clock with a lady looking on it, and I really love that. Um, from the Library Of. Super cute. This Book Belongs To. Uh, this Book Belongs To. It's a little child at a desk. That's a really old stamp. I had a hard time getting it. Uh, this one is from the Library Of. And this one, this book, this book belongs to. So, I did this one and I feel like it's a fail. Um, I was trying to do the hidden paper clip. And I, I've done this before. Um, I watched a video... Oh, I believe her name is Patricia uh, Lee Craft Lee Cafe Craft. Boy, that's a tongue twister. And she posted a video upgraded paper clips tutorial. Hide your clips in style, quick and easy. So I watched it, and I really like how she did her paper clips. So I did a whole bunch of them um, for. Christmas. See. Yeah. And this is from uh, Digital by um, my friend Angela, the Crafty Stasher. I did a whole video on this. Whoops. This one. And these are. Uh, Lee Cafe Crafts, um, her take on it. And I think she mentions in her video she saw someone else do it. But look how cute. With this, um, with Angela's uh, digital, she has a lot of smalls. And like these, this bird image, and then it matches the little card with lines image. So I made uh, these hidden paper clips and I love them. Um, so yeah, they just, you don't see the paper clip at all. It's like within, it's, it's in there. And then it just slides on your page. I don't think it falls off, it might. But yeah, so I made those. So I was trying to make them again in vintage and library. So let's 
see. And basically, oh, I started this one. Your paper clip is within your your project. So you basically, and this is not sticking good because these are plastic coated. I have a hard time finding normal ones that don't have plastic on them. Yeah, the plastic doesn't want to stick to the glue. So you put that down and then you put your, will that come off? Yeah, let me just do it again because it's not sticking. I basically just took a scrap piece of paper and put glue. I folded a scrap piece of paper, put my paper clip in the center. You, you do it whatever size. I'm probably confusing this all get out. But that paper clip just does not want to stick. But this paper should. You can leave your paper clip up a little bit if you want. I showed that in the last video. So you can put a tie on it. But for this one I don't. It's just for decorative purposes. So I'll try to put that back there. Basically you just want to glue that down. I just want to make sure that that paper is down. I wish I had something a little flatter. Do I have this? But I don't want to get it all gluey. Let's see what I got here. There we go. I just want that paper stuck down. And we'll see if that's going to work. Okay, so now I'm going. I want to put this on because I I really don't want to see the paper clip, and that's just a personal preference. So I'm not going to glue the whole thing. I'm just going to glue this piece right here. Put this on, and then this will slide right on your page. So I'll have to look for paper clips. I'll, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do all of every week. I'll, I'll try. I'm taking a pause from working on Christmas journals to uh, support my friends in this challenge. <clears throat> so I'm just going to line this up. So most of these stamps were uh, block stamps, and I took them off the block, so I've got them on this mat over here. So if I have time, I'll stamp a couple, because I have a friend in need of a little demonstration. Um... Okay, so it's kind of fiddly. That's why I don't really do paper clips. Now, if they made paper clips that, that weren't so bulky and like thin, that would be great. Maybe I could find something like that. All right, um, I just want to make sure my paper is down pretty good. And then I'll show you how it fits on the page. Yeah, the the paper clip just doesn't want to stick to the glue because of the plastic. I did, on my last video, take a heat tool, put it on some... I put some of these on some foil. I went outside, took a heat tool, and blasted them. I wouldn't recommend doing that. Don't do it indoors. But it melted that plastic off. But yeah. Okay, I think it's stuck pretty good. I'll put something heavy on it, but I'll show you. Uh... So see, see this is your page. This would just... Nope. 
it over your page like that. I don't think it's going to go down any. Yeah, that's as far as it'll go down. So it would stick up just a little bit. But yeah. So that's cool. I like that. Um, I probably, if I were going to do these again, I would stamp the image and glue it on the front of this. Um, like a frame. Uh, that way to, and maybe layer some uh, lace and stuff like that to hide the paper clip. Because I can see the paper clip through there. So there's that. So I'll let that dry. Put that on there. Okay. So what else do I have? So I have that one. Not really happy about that. I have these. This one here, I don't think this will work out, but we can try. So see, I have to cut another one of these out. Um, yeah, my desk is a broken train wreck. All right, let's see. So that die. Oh, let me put these back. Is as you can see, I've been playing for a while here. This one here, and then is this one here, square and embroidery hoop. Um, it's tonic. There's the number there, but I'll put it in the description. So it's kind of cool. Um, I should have an example on the back of here, how they cut out. Yeah, they cut out like this um, hole, um, and then they have the inserts to cut out the middle. So what I did was stamped it on a piece of, um, I just have all my scraps. I'm using my tea stain paper to give it that vintage look um, and then I just cut out the center and then pop that on the back side so what I'll do is just cut one more of these and I think this will fit through my um, sidekick yep all right so I just need a scrap big enough to cut this out Go this way because I like these little ridge pieces I save those for things okay hot mess desk all right where's my So I'm thinking I can glue this right on the back, or it'll be my back. Hopefully this will fit through there. Oh, no, i got to cut it. It's got to be, it just fits. So let me put a piece of tape to hold this puppy down. There. Let's see what we get now. Boy, that just fits in there. Maybe. Uh oh. He's talking to me. Let's see. Did it cut it? Oh, it didn't like it. like it just barely where's my little hmm let me try to run it through again I don't want to have to get up and get my big machine. 
Come on, buddy, you can do it. Do it. Okay. That should be good. No. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, nothing wrong with the machine. It was just too big for the for it. So there we go. Okay, so there's that. So now I have a piece for the back. There. That's cute. So now I just need a scrap long enough to go in half to go in there and that will work. And then I'm just going to take my paper clip and put it on there. Just wondering if I don't do wider. Maybe that because I did a skinny one on this one. Yeah. I think I need to go wider, so I'll make it a bigger piece. Let's use this one. It just has to be, let me see how good this one's doing now. Oh, I got two here. Some glue might have pushed out, but there you go. Yeah, I think having a wider piece on the inside is better. So, but it has to be smaller than this, or you're going to see it. So, just cut it. Mm. be good. So then the paper clip goes on here like so and if you wanted to tie something on it you would leave it up just a little bit but I don't need that. Okay so I'm going to put some glue on this. You just want to keep your glue away from the edges because you don't want it to ooze out. Ooh, lunch time. I'm just going to put that just right there. Just wondering if hot glue would work on these paper clips. The little stinkers they are. Okay. Oops. Just want to press it down. That's sticking pretty good now. It just takes a little bit to get contact there. Oh, I'm wondering if I use um, my tape, if that would work on this. 
Um, or if I wrapped the paper clip in something, um, to cover it up, but that would be just, just too much for me. Okay, I'm liking that sticking pretty good, so it's just, a you just had to work with it and give it time. Alright, let me glue this and see. So the sun's out today. I hope it warms up a little bit. Um, okay. Just gonna line this up. And I'm basically just gluing the inside paper to my um, outside paper. Just hiding the paper clip. Okay, so I'm gonna have to. I need like a. I should get a spatula or something. Like, um. I don't want to use this and get glue on it. I can clean it. Um, like they use for the, um, scan and cut, the little spatulas, I should get one of those. I think they sell all that stuff separate. Okay, that's sticking pretty good. It just needs time to have contact. Pushing that paper down. I wonder if um, two maybe art glitter glue would be the best for this project. It could be. Okay. There. So there's that. Another altar paper clip, and let's see what it looks like. Just. Oops. All right. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. Okay. There we go. Another paper clip. That's the back. You could decorate the back if you wanted. Put something on the back. Put some lace. Um, I'm gonna, it's still drying, so I'm going to put these on there. Okay, let's see. Now what? Um, this one here, these are small. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do these. Um, I really like this one. Let me cut another one of this. This will fit in my machine here. And this one is the, I like this set. The Sizzix Vintage Labels, I really love them because they're embossed. They have like an embossing around the labels. Yep. All right, it's this one here. Let me cut another one because I think my, sorry for the reach. I guess I could use a smaller one, like this one. No. Um. Yeah, I guess that'll work. All right, let me cut this out. Ooh, that's just gonna fit. Oh, excuse me. 
Um, the only thing about the sidekick is that you want to tape your stuff down because it, it does jiggle around. It's best. But I love how small it is. I could have it on my desk with a thousand other things. As long as it fits through here, fits on your plate, you can cut it. Okay, there's that one. So now I just need a, a piece of scrap to fold. Got lots of scraps. Um, let's see if this one will this one will be better because I don't want to waste that one. I'm just gonna fold it in half. And then it just needs to be a little bit smaller than this. So give it a quick trim. And then it'll just go in the middle there. Just want to see if this is gonna fit. It's, so it might have to stick up a little bit, like so. Hmm. Um, I think I might snip those corners just so they don't show. So go like this and like this. And then um, I'll leave a little bit up so I can tie a uh, ribbon around it. Yeah, I could do that. I gotta pull this up a little bit though. So I'll have to put something nice and frilly on there so you don't see the paper clip. you're able to see I haven't paid attention at all. Oops, I got a little too close to the edge there. that's top. This is such a cute stamp. Oops. So I'm just going to the tippy top there. So I'll have a little piece up here and I'll put something cute on that. I just wish I had a little, I probably could go get an old butter knife and because that would help because you just want good contact there. Whoops, I went under. Oh, I can, I can clean that. Yeah, as long as you get good contact there, I think that really helps. And I might figure out a solution to these darn plastic coated besides taking them outside and torching them. Um, I'll figure something out. Okay, so that's going to go on there. I should have moved it down just a bit. I think I still can. Nope, it's on there. Okay, so I want to glue this.
so it just takes time to get it to stick. I'm just going to squeak in here and try to varnish it down. Yeah, one of those thin spatula things would help. But I like that. It's cute. Let me see. Um, oh, the glue. The glue bled through onto my stamp. <clears throat> wow. Guess I should have put some uh, embossing powder on that. That's crazy. The glue, I put so much glue, it faded out my, <laughs> oh, goodness me. All right, let's see what I got to put on top here. Um, this is the wrong one. Let's try this one. Just put this one on there for now, this little piece. Doesn't match, but you get the idea. My fingers are like, you want to do what? Yeah, that doesn't go, but uh, you get the idea. I could maybe tie a bow, but um, I'll leave that for now. Let me just make sure that this is sticking, and I think it is. Don't like that on there. Let me see. I got these tins um, on clearance. Oh, it might have been a couple Christmases ago, a couple years. And this is open, like you could see through it. I think they were like a dollar. And I just took some uh, poster board, cut it around, and put it in there because um, that way I can have it out in the open and the sun doesn't bleach whatever I have in there. Um, that's pretty. I kind of wanted something. Vintage, but I don't think that's going to happen. That's not big Yeah, no. Okay, I'm gonna leave it for now and just keep on keeping on. So I got a lot of stuff in there. Oh, I like that stuff. All right. But you get the idea. So we'll see. It would just slip on your page like that. Why is it? 
something in there. Yeah, glued together. So that's just something you have to watch out for. There you go. And then just put a something cute cute on the top there. Maybe this won't look good on there. Oh, I got that on there. Good. Okay. So there's that. Uh, where am I at? 36 minutes. Okay, I'm going to show a little stamping. So let me clear some stuff out of the way. Okay. This is how you do a quick clean up. <laughs> there we go. Alright. I am going to do a little stamping. And this is for my friend Carol at Free Spirit Arts. Oh. Oops. Just can't get it together. Alright. using my stamping platform and I I have a sticky grid on here this is how I stamp I do have a video on this using the sticky grid just look through my playlist it would be in Stamping 101, probably. I think that's how I have it listed. But this is the sticky grid paper. They're sticky grid sheets. They come in a sheet. Um, Hobby Lobby used to carry all this kind of stuff, but they don't carry anything anymore. This is how it comes. It's got um, the release paper on both sides right here. And then it has a part right here that's not sticky for you to be able to pull it apart. I always pull one off. And then I stick it on my mat. Now I have mine upside down because this part is not sticky. And it'll, and that's where I stamp right there. You can put it, I'll show you. You can put it this way, like this, which is okay. I probably could do that because that way my numbers are uniform. Um, and then I save one of the release sheets. Where'd I put it? Out. So when I'm not using it, I stick that on there because this is sticky and your stamp is going to stick on that. Now, after you've used this up and it's not sticky anymore and that takes a long time, um, just be careful You working on top of it. Once you stamp and if you're doing embossing or whatever, put this on, close it. If you still have a stamp in there and you, you want to keep it, you know, in position until you're figuring things out, just put a piece of paper right here that will uh, cover your stamp. You could close it, keep it clean until you're working, and then you're back on it. That'll prolong this sticky sheet. Then when it's all used up on this side, flip it over. Use the other side. You can cut this down smaller. You don't have to use the whole thing. If you just use small stamps, like you use just small stuff like that, just cut a small thing and put it on there. Just use that. 
save it, but cut it while you have your release papers on there. So I do that. So that's how I did, um, where are they? I threw them away already. <laughs> oh, okay, right here. That's how I did all of these. I just took my scraps and these are my tea stain file folder scraps. You, you can line it up wherever you want. I just do like that. And let's see, which one do I want to do? Um, this one is super cute. This one is the, nope, not that one. I'll find it. I have all my blocks here. Oh, here it is. This one here. It doesn't have a name. That's how old it is. Um, I don't even know. It just says from the library of. Don't even know who made it, but I took it off the block. It's still kind of sticky, but if it's not sticky, just take yourself some, and I'll show that, double-sided tape. I'll do one. So what I do is line it up where... I want it. I want it in the middle if and that gives me room to die cut it out. Um, okay, and then on here, if you haven't used the platform before, there's a clear, which are the thin, like these here would be clear. Um, and then the ones that are thicker, I use the rubber. Okay, so I need to clear some room here. Okay. So I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use the potter's clay on this one because I really like this color. I didn't use it a lot. I used it on this one here. And I always put my stamp pad to my stamp. I never put my stamp in my stamp pad because that's when ink gets in every nook and cranny that you don't want. Close it. You can get these at um, scrapbook.com. Isn't that cute? If you want a little darker, it's still there. It's not moving around. It's not going anywhere. I'll just hit it up again. And there you go. Peel it off. Now if I were deciding something, I would just put this back down and put my paper down, go do what I got to do if I was going to put embossing powder on this. This is what I would do if I was going to make another one doing a test to see if I like it. I would do that. So that one's super cute. So now I'll do the, the ones that aren't stuck. This one here is Ex Libris and I got this from I had a customer that contacted me on Etsy and asked me if I had a stamp like this, and I didn't. I started looking into it, and I'm like, you know, I kind of would. So I told her it would take me a bit to order the stamp, and then I would contact her, and then she could tell me what she wanted. And I got it from the Old Island Stamp Company. Right there. There's the number there. I'll put it in the description. It came quickly. They're in Canada and um, but it it doesn't I think you can order it on a block in several different ways and I chose this because I like to use my platform. So I'm gonna this is how I usually clean my stamps. I just take a wet wipe, hit it up real quick. And then I have a 
microfiber cloth, dry it off, and that's it. Done. All right, this one here, it doesn't have any glue, nothing tacky, nothing. So what I'm going to do is use my double stick tape, put a couple pieces there. You can do that with any, or you can use this. You can put this on the back and use that. But I find that I'm cleaning this and the stamp and the tape is easier for me. All right, so take this off. And I'm gonna stamp this. Let's see. That. You can put it anywhere you want. If you wanted to put a bunch, you could. Um, I would just spread them out because some stamps are have different heights than others. If you put a bunch on there, it is difficult to get them all to stamp at once. All right, I don't know which is top and bottom. Okay, that's... So I'm just going to stick that in the middle. And this is, I would consider a clear stamp, so I'm going to turn this around. get it stuck and then again I'm going to use my uh, potter's clay Let's see what it looks like I like that I'm going to hit it up again didn't move or go anywhere I love that it's beautiful so there you go you can do it in any color and like say um, you wanted to do a bunch of these you wanted the potter's clay you wanted some in coffee I also have rich coca um, just find yourself a, a center like, okay, I'm going to stick my stamp or my cardstock right here every time. Keep that lined up with that. Once you're done with this color, um, keep your stamp on there and just keep going, keep going, keep going. I think I have this right here. So I can put another piece right here. Clean this off real quick. And I use the microfiber cloth because the uh, wet wipes do have little pieces that come off um, like lint and you don't want that to get on your ink pad. So this gets everything right off. All right, and then, oops, I didn't want to peel that off. Okay, I'm gonna leave that. And I, I wanted to do another color. So I wanna do the coffee. Sometimes I turn my ink pad too because maybe ink is less in one area than it is in another. Yeah, I've had this one since 2021, so uh, it might be time to get a new one. I was storing them upside down, which was a suggestion from a lot of people, and I stopped doing that. And I'll show you why. Okay, I think I need it. I can kind of see I need a little bit more up top there, so I'm going to put more pressure there. Sometimes you just got to 
especially when they're thin stamps, they don't have any rubber on them. You could put a rubber mat behind here, but I like this setup right here. So that looks really good. Looks vintage. Okay. So there's that one. So see, you could just keep going if you know where you line this up. Just keep putting your paper down. Keep putting your paper down. Change your color. You could mass make. All right, let me clean this, and I'll show you why I don't store my stamps upside down anymore. And it could be just my area, my climate. I don't know. All right, never leave this on here with double stick on. Uh, and because I have a package to put this in, I'm going to take this off. Uh, because it will adhere, it'll be hard to get off. You can use alcohol and get it off, but um, yeah, I left one on there, forgot about it, and boy, I had a heck of a time getting it off there. Take that tape off right away. Okay ink pads. I used to store them upside down. Let me just close this. But they started leaking around the edge there. Now I haven't cleaned this one up yet but usually I take a um, some alcohol and I usually put a glove on a plastic glove and just clean it up around the edge there so that's a lot of ink so I think all my ink was oozing out I don't know so I don't do that anymore so I've cleaned some of them up but I haven't done this one yet so yeah I think they all did that that one not really I think I cleaned that one so there you have it, my altered paper clip. And I tried to honor vintage and library, hopefully. <laughs> I just, I struggle with paper clips. I really do. I really do. This one's really cute. I like this one. So go on your page like that. You just put a nice cute little thing up top. So, all right. Hashtag altered paper clip 2023. Hope you guys can join in. All right. Take care. Bye.